Thank you, everybody. Happy holidays, first and foremost. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Here. You as well, go places. But uh, it's good. Basketball's a great game, and uh, it's good to see that it's supported. Um, great team to play against today, Georgia Tech, and uh, I think they're going to have a really good year, a really good team. It seemed like you got after them pretty hard in the first half and did a good job of switching and kind of denying the three and challenging shots. Do you feel like that? What kind of changed in the second half, I guess, defensively? Uh, I threatened to uh, make them all ride home on the bus. Uh, <laughs> if they didn't know I'm joking. Uh, we did. I mean, we knew, hey, they, Georgia Tech's been really good this year. I mean, I've known Josh Pastor for since he was 14 or 15. I know he's a good basketball coach, and I know he's going to have those guys prepared. I'm, he's a Houston guy, obviously, so am I. Uh, so we knew we were going to be at our best to have a chance. They knew they playing really, really well. So that was the game plan. Uh, trying to disrupt what they wanted to do, to switch out on everything, and try to make it tough for them. Did you think you kind of ran out of gas like the last four or five minutes of the game? Uh, you know, I think when you play as hard as we play, there's always a chance that you can run out of gas. I like to think that, uh, you know, maybe, you know, Georgia Tech is going to rev it up a little bit, more so than we ran out of gas. But uh, I think we did have some, some guys that got a little bit tired. But, uh, hey, that's life of uh, Prairie View and m We have to, uh, you know, play that way all the time to give ourselves a chance, a fighting chance against the other really good programs that we face. And speaking of, looking at your schedule, you're starting out with 12 games, consecutive games on the road. How tough is that for you and your kids, though, knowing that you're going to be on the road for almost two months and not have your first home game until January the 2nd? I mean, I love it, man. I don't have to worry about, like, laundry and making my bed and stuff like that. <laughs> oh, we're about the kids. We're all the kids. You know? <laughs> I'm always thinking about me. It is difficult, uh, obviously. But, uh, you know, I mean, we're, we're up for the task. I mean, it gives a lot of these kids an opportunity to see some different places. You know, a lot of these kids are... You know, junior college kids and then transfers and they really had an opportunity to experience you know you know college basketball and be in some of these nice arenas and then travel to some of these neat places so i think it's a good overall experience for them from a basketball standpoint it does make it a bit tough um they do get a little bit tired um, but we just got to get we just have to fight and unlike some of our, our counterparts in our league we're not just trying to get ready for league play we actually come to try to beat georgia tech and we try to beat some of these teams that we're playing so but it does get a little bit difficult but uh you know I, we got a tough one the Coach, talk about uh, Gary Blackston and his play tonight. Uh, you know, Gary's our alpha. He's our alpha dog. He's a guy that, uh, as he goes, we go. And, um, you know, he, he gives great effort every night. And you know, he kind of takes a pound, but he just kind of, it's like a Timex. He, he takes a lick and keeps on ticking. Uh, but we have to have him with the basketball in his hand and, 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 and making shots for us to have a chance for the game. So, uh, proud of his effort and, uh, you know, hope that it'll continue. What did you think of the work you guys did on the defensive glass, keeping them to six? Excuse me? Your, your work on the defensive glass, you did pretty, pretty good, it seems like. Uh, I, I think so, yeah. You know, you, you know, everyone looks at re rebounding and things like that with sides. You know, I always say you don't measure a man by his height, you measure him by his heart. Yeah, that's how we play. Um, and and we, kind of, we kind of subscribe to the, the Dennis Robin way. And we're not very long, we're not very tall, but, you know, we were quick to the basketball. So uh, we're going to fight you the tooth and nail every step of the way. Um, you know, and what I tell my guys is that obviously fundamentally the rebound, the rebound is about, you know, boxing out of position and things like that. But sometimes you kind of get pushed around a little bit. So we focus on just getting to the ball before they do. I think we did a nice job. Could have been better, especially late, but, um, you know, I, I, I'll take it on the road. Coach, talk about limiting the turnovers because you had a little bit more turnovers than Georgia Tech tonight, but just talk about how you stressed that to your team as well. You know, just tell them to, uh, you know, play with pace, you know, and, and, and you know, sometimes, you know, it, you know, these kids, they get into the nuts and score, 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 especially when they come out and they have some success. So, you know, we try to get them to really take care of our value each possession, you know, play each possession like it's your last possession. So, uh, you know, we had 15 turnovers tonight, today 11. Um, you know, obviously we like to be under double figures. I think every team, every good team wants to be under double figures in turnovers. Um, but I thought we did a decent job of that. We kind of got a little sloppy, you know, kind of late in the game a little bit. But, um, you know, again, we're going to play against a, a really good basketball team right now. Uh, but I think it helped us. I, I really think it helped us. Obviously, we would love to have won the game, but it came up a little bit short. Um, but uh, overall, I was proud of the effort. Um, but but, but we, we do stress taking care of the basketball. We can do a better job than we did tonight. But what's next? Because it looks like you have some time off before you make game. Yeah. Um, I got a warrant for my arrest back in Houston. I got to go back and take care of that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's first on Monday morning. Uh, after that, I've got to get our kids back, getting ready for finals. Uh, that's coming up. So we'll give them a day or so off. We've got to get back to uh, work. We're going to a tough Murray State you know, a team here at the end of next week. Um, and every arena that we go in, we're we'll playing against a really, really good team. So kind of give them a day off, kind of get back in their bed, kind of get back comfortable, um, and uh, hit the books, and then just get right back to work. So that'll have maybe a day off, not much more.
Was there a part of the game in the second half that you really felt kind of started to tilt things their way? Yeah, when the referee told me to get back in the box, I said, okay, here we go. No, I'm joking. It was, uh, yeah, those guys did a great job tonight. They're really good officiating crew. Um, you know, I, I just think we started pressing a little bit. Uh, Devontae Patterson, uh, number 23, who had 16 points tonight, um, you know, I thought he was a tough out driving the ball to the basket, but when he started kind of setting up for the three ball, I kind of thought, you know, you know we kind of lost our inside. You know, he's not the only guy that can really score around the basket. He's not, you know, traditionally a big guy at 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, but I kind of felt when, when he kind of stepped out, I think that I kind of felt like not when we had trouble, but I think we kind of lost some of our, our, our love that we had, you know, three points in the game. Anything else for Coach? Did, did the fact that they lost the Grambling last year give you any more confidence or, or thought that you guys could really give them? No, because I know this is like a totally different Georgia Tech team than last year. You know, even when they had the guy, Kobe, you uh, know, I was an NBA guy, but I still, you know, I still think it's a better Georgia Tech team. So, uh, I mean, we know that you know, anyone is beatable on any given day. David Slade, Goliath. So, I was going to come in with the mindset that we can that we can play with anyone and we're locked in. But um, I didn't pay that a lot of attention to that ground with people last year. I know it's a totally different team. But uh, they've been playing really, really well until uh, this point early in the season. Okay. Thank you, Coach.